How does the study of insects help solve crimes? Dr. Lee Goff is a forensic entomologist here to talk about his fascinating craft. Welcome, Dr. Goff. Yeah, Tell us yeah. about forensic entomology. Well, uh, Diane, actually, when you start to look at it in the broad sense, it's any time that insects become evidence in any kind of a legal proceeding. Uh, most of the time, what we're doing is we're making an estimate of the period of time since death. Uh, based on insect activity on the body, but we can also tell if a uh, body's been moved after death. Uh, we can use the insects to link a victim and a suspect, uh, place them both at the same scene, uh, various things of that nature. It kind of depends on the individual case. Kind of gory, but at the same time for you, it's turned out to be a bit glamorous. We have some of the uh, work that you've done training insects to be actors on some TV shows, <laughs> like this one is Baywatch. We can roll that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And tell me a little bit about that. CSI, uh, right? CSI, yeah. I've actually been a consultant for CSI uh, since the program began and been uh, working pretty regularly on that. Insects play a large part. In this particular Baywatch uh, episode, we had a centipede that was vastly overrated in terms of its potential toxicity <laughs> that uh, we were supposed to uh, <laughs> can, I, can I just add that uh, <laughs> Dr. Goff actually got me to carry a centipede on my <laughs> hand and if we roll long enough we'll see that video pop up yeah, actually, and then the I, blooper of me screaming. Yeah, actually, yeah. As I recall, the centipede was, uh, thought, you know, we're very tasty. Uh, you know. yeah, no. <laughs> I was tasty to it. Hello. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. There we yeah. go. Look yeah. at yeah. that. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, anyway, so yeah, I'm um, having a little snack there. <laughs> <laughs> I was a tasty treat that morning. Yeah. Um, tell me also about the program you started when I met you. You were at UH, but you've since gone on to Chaminade. Yeah, I retired from UH after about 23 years there, and I moved to Chaminade. And basically, there, uh, what we did was, we, well, when I arrived 2001. Uh, we had 15 students in a forensic sciences program, so I began working to more or less beef the program up. We've got right now 137 students in our bachelor's program. And these are some of them? These are some of them up. Uh, we're very field oriented, and uh, we have we believe that they what should all that, be hands on. That's a, yes, that's a pig, and we're taking internal body temperature of the uh, pig as it decomposes. Uh, this is one of the parameters we use. Uh, this is one of our uh, students, uh, Brian Johnson, has actually been lifting uh, fingerprints from a uh, corpse in this particular case, so something oh. that's not that easy to do. And also, this is uh, Stephanie Assam, one of our uh, former students. She's uh, actually now back at the uh, Smithsonian doing some, uh, some work, but uh, she was doing some fingerprint comparison. Wow, this is yeah. interesting. How long does the this course study take? Well, for the bachelor's degree, starting with a freshman, you'll go through in four years, including an internship with an active crime lab. And uh, for the master's program, that's an additional two years, and you have to wind up doing an individual uh, research project uh, there in an area of the forensic sciences. And is this one of the only places in the country to get this kind of education? Well, uh, not really in the country. We're the only one probably, uh, well, definitely the only one in the Pacific aside from a couple of Australian universities. We were one of the first to really uh, come up in the United States. And right now we're still the only one that offers both the bachelor's degree and the master's degree in the same institution. Okay. This is so fascinating. I was telling Lee, maybe I could reinvent myself as a forensic entomologist. And then he said it involves a lot of science. I said, forget yeah. it. But maybe someone else out there would be interested. <laughs> yeah, it could be. We, we get a lot of interest. Uh, then suddenly people discover that there is science involved. And, uh, yeah, it's so interesting. A little bit of an about turn. Yeah. So fascinating. Anyways, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back. But thank you, Dr. Goff, for talking to us about yeah, your forensic right entomology up. program at Chaminade. Yeah, okay. Products and services have been provided by the following.